In this video, we're going to talk about updating the Bridge theme along with updating the plugins that come with Bridge. So first of all, in order to check if you're using the latest version of Bridge, you should navigate to Appearance Themes. And over here, click on Theme Details. Up here, you will see the version of Bridge that you have on your site. Now next, you will want to open up our change log. You can view it here at bridge.codeinteractive.com. We will leave this link under the video description. And over here, you will see the latest version of Bridge. As of now, it's 18.09. And up here, it says version 18 is a major Bridge update. So in Bridge version 18, we updated many of our theme files in order to comply with the latest theme forest standards. So if you're using Bridge 17 or lower and you're updating to version 18, you need to take special care to follow these instructions here. It says install and activate Bridge Core plugin and update all required plugins. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So before updating your theme, we recommend performing a full site backup. Site backups are beyond the scope of this tutorial, but I will say that there are many plugins out there that will do just that for you. There are also many resources that will show you how to backup your site. We will leave the link in the video description. Now, there are two different ways that you can update your site. You can do that through the Envato Market plugin, or you can also update your site manually via FTP. So in the following section, we will go over updating your site with Envato Market. I'm going to navigate to plugins in my admin panel. And over here, it says this theme requires the following plugin and it says Envato Market. So I can go ahead and install the plugin this way. If you don't see this message here notifying you about Envato Market, you can also navigate to Appearance, Install Plugins and you can install Envato Market here. It says plugin installed successfully, so let's go back. And now I'm going to activate it. After activating Envato Market, you should see it in the options panel. So here it is, I'm gonna click on it. Now over here, you should go ahead and follow these instructions for setting up Envato Market. Uh, you will need to generate a token and then after entering it in this field here and saving changes, you will be able to update your site using the Envato Market plugin. Now over here on this link, this is the official plugin documentation and they have a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Envato Market plugin and how to update your site with it. Now, I'm not going to go over the setup process in this tutorial, but we will leave this link under the video description. So if you want to use Envato Market to update your theme, you can go ahead and work through these steps. In the following section, we are going to talk about updating your theme manually via FTP. So if you're using Envato Market to update your site, you can go ahead and skip to the last section of the video in which we cover plugin updates. And this is very important, especially if you're using Bridge 17 or lower and you're updating to version 18, you should skip to the last section of the video and update your plugins. Now, first of all, I will navigate to Theme Forest and I'm going to go to my downloads page. And over here, I'm going to click on installable WordPress file only. I'm going to open the file that I just downloaded and inside there's a folder called bridge. So this is the file that I will want to update to my server. So I'm going to extract it. Now, there are several ways that you can upload this file to your server. You can do that through your hosting control panel. You can also do it through FTP. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that through FTP. So first of all, you will need to have an FTP client such as FileZilla. If you don't have FileZilla, you can download it at filezillaproject.org. Now, I will open up FileZilla. 
And over here, you will want to enter your host username and password. If you're not sure what these are, you can ask your hosting provider for this information. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my server. Now over here on the right side, you will want to navigate to your site's root directory. Click on WP content and then click on themes. Over here, you will see the list of themes that you have installed on your site. And as we can see, I have bridge installed. Now over on the left hand side, you will want to navigate to the place where you extracted the bridge folder. So here it is. Now I will want to upload this folder onto my site so that it overrides the current bridge folder. The files have now successfully transferred, so I'm going to log into my site. Now we're going to talk about updating your plugins. First of all, I will navigate to appearance themes. And once again, if I click on theme details, I will see the version of bridge that I'm using. And sure enough, it now says version 1809. So now I know that I have the latest version of bridge. Now, in order to update your plugins, navigate to plugins from your admin panel. And here, once again, it says version 18 is a major bridge update. And first of all, you will want to install and activate the bridge core plugin. So let's click on begin installing plugins. Next to bridge core, I'm going to click on install. I'm going to return to the plugins installer and I will activate bridge core. I'm going to refresh the page. And now that we've activated bridge core, we see code options in the admin panel. All right. So now we will go ahead and update all of the other plugins that come bundled with bridge. So here I am at appearance install plugins. I'm going to show you how to update WordPress bakery first. So let's click on update. Now let's return to the plugins installer. And now you can go ahead and update all of the remaining plugins in the same way that I've updated WordPress bakery. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do that. If the plugin will not update through the plugin installer and you keep seeing a message that it requires an update, then you should delete the plugin and then install it again. So navigate to plugins. Now here next to layer slider, I'm going to click on deactivate and then I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to refresh the page. And once again, I will navigate to appearance install plugins. I'm going to click on install. I'm going to return to the plugins installer and then activate. And now we see that I have the latest version of layer slider installed. And you do not need to worry about losing your sliders when you deactivate and delete layer slider or slider revolution because all of this data is stored in your database. When you try to update a plugin, if you get a message saying destination folder already exists, then what you will need to do is delete the plugin folder on your server and then you will be able to install an updated version of the plugin. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. In order to delete the plugin from your server, you will need to use an FTP client such as FileZilla. I'm going to connect to my server. Over here on the right side, navigate to WP content and then click on plugins. So I'm trying to update WordPress Bakery Visual Composer. So this is the plugin folder, JS Composer. So I'm going to delete it. The plugin folder is now deleted. So I'm going to go back to my site. I'm going to navigate to plugins. And up here it says the theme requires the following plugin, WP Bakery and you can go ahead and install the plugin. Or if you don't see the message up here, then you can navigate to Appearance Install Plugins, and then you can install WordPress Bakery. Now I'm going to activate it. 
And now I have successfully installed the latest version of WordPress Bakery. So we have now installed and activated the Bridge Core plugin, and we updated all of the plugins that come with the Bridge theme. And as I've previously said, this is very important for you to do if you're using Bridge 17 or earlier and you're updating to Bridge 18, because Bridge 18 is a major theme update. All right, now there is one final step that you should take. Navigate to code options in your admin panel and click on save changes. And what this does, it generates a new static CSS file for your site. In the past, we've heard from users who said that they updated their theme and that after the update, their custom options and settings were not taking effect. And if this happens to you, you should simply go to code options and click on save changes and the new CSS file will be generated and that will take care of that. Everything should be the way it was prior to performing the update. So in this video, we covered how to update your bridge site and how to update your plugins. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel.